So this is, whoa, this Hey guys, Ralph with Mad Reptic here. First YouTube video, so hello. Um, I got something super exciting to share with you guys today. I produced my very first snake. It's our first Mad Reptic Productions um, reptile. I produced one singular Gyneosoma oxycephalum. It is a red tail green rat snake, and I had a clutch of three eggs, and only one of them hatched out. <clears throat> I actually didn't even think I was going to get eggs from this girl because she got egg bound in uh, no, it was October when she was first grabbing. So she got egg bound. I ended up taking her to the vet, and you know, when they're egg bound, there's a good chance that the eggs drowned inside of them because they're not laid when they're supposed to. But we took some of the fluid out of the egg that was holding her up. There was just an egg that was a little bit too big for her to lay. We sucked some of the fluid out of that egg, and. Two days later, she laid a clutch of three eggs. I put those on to some hatch right, put them in a tub, and stuck them in the corner of my reptile room, um, where the temperature is about 77 to 79 degrees, kind of bounced around there, but it stayed pretty steady, because I do run ambient temperatures in here for most of my animals. And 120 days later, it was actually like 130. Four, I think, if I'm correct. They were laid on December 8th, and then they hatched on May 2nd. So it was a long time letting those babies cook. So <laughs> I will start by showing you guys the female. Unfortunately, my male did die. I've had him for four years. They're both long-term captives out of the wild. He was a silver phase red-tailed green rat snake, and uh, came in about a month ago, and he was just dead in the tub. So. Don't know what happened there, it really sucks. Um, but at least I got one of his offspring, and I believe the female is gravid again, so we might even have another clutch just from retained sperm from last year. So let me show you that female real quick. She's right here. And she is spicy today. This is, whoa, this is mama here. Like I said, she's a little spicy this morning. She's keying on to my hat. So she is a long-term captive. I got her from a guy in uh, out of Ohio who imported them. He had them for about three years, and then I bought them off of Fauna Classifieds um, as a breeding pair. He had had one clutch of eggs before. But if you guys can see, she's got a really pretty pattern. Um, I might put in a little clip of a video of getting an up close video on her pattern. Something like I've never seen. It's super, super cool. She's pretty, pretty tame, believe it or not. If I can get the camera to focus. Uh, but right now she's just on fire, like I said, I think because there's a good possibility that she did shed today. So there's a good possibility that was her pre-lay shed. So I don't want to mess with her too much, but that is mama right there. Um, let's see her. Yeah, she's awesome. So I'll get her back in her tub. I'll show you guys. And then I'll show you guys the baby. Let me get it real quick. I got it set up. It just went into blue yesterday. Um, it looks like it cleared up a little bit, so I'm gonna try to feed it a uh, mouse pinky next week, and hopefully it eats, fingers crossed. So it's doing really well. I've got it in this little, I think it's a SQ enclosure that I got um, just from a local pet shop down here. It's such a teeny tiny little baby. So it's a silver phase. Focus here. Yeah, so it's actually a silver phase, Goniosoma oxycephalum. Oh, 
red-tailed green rat. And you can see it's really cool. It's got um, the yellows from the dad. The dad was just a plain silver face with some really cool yellow freckling and some yellow underneath the chin. This little guy or girl here, I'm not sure. Looks like it's got some of the yellow freckling and the yellow chin. It's not too happy, so I'm gonna put it right here. But, uh, oh, must all over me. That's awesome. But I'm super freaking excited, guys. Um, this is the first of many to come. I'm breeding, I think I have about six gravid ball pythons right now that I've seen in ovulation. I've gone either through a post-ovulation shed or are in blue after ovulating. So hopefully I get some eggs in the next month or two. I, uh, I'm not sure, I'm running, it's my first year breeding and I'm running ambient temps in my room. So I have heard from Antoine Hood from High Desert Pythons that after his girls ovulate, they take 70 to 80 days to lay eggs after ovulation because he runs ambient temperatures as well. I know he says he keeps his room at um, 85, but I keep mine at 86 to 87. I do have some boas and stuff in here. They are on heat, but they like it a little hotter. Everything is doing great, eating fine. So we'll see next year if I decide to run heat mats or not, if I start to get some new racks to try to cut down on that time between ovulation and laying eggs. But regardless, we'll just have to see how it pans out. And I'm just waiting on eggs. I'm super excited. I actually got, I've had my sea serpents incubator here set up since freaking Thanksgiving because I've been waiting on eggs. I've been super excited. So I, it's my first year breeding. I didn't know exactly when it was going to happen. So I wanted to be all set up and ready to go. So when it happens, I'm ready. This is my first post on YouTube, so I'm gonna make some more videos like this. I'm gonna try to get one out every week. I'm just kind of updates. I got Kodak, the black throat monitor back here. Um, he's sleeping in the back there. I have some dry mark on, some boas, um, a bunch of ball pythons, a couple reticulated pythons, some cool stuff that I can show you guys. So I'm gonna start trying to post every week and I'll keep you guys updated on what's going on with breeding and stuff like that because there's some exciting stuff to come. Like I said, it's my first year and um, I've been keeping reptiles since I was 15 years old. When I was a freshman, I got my first boa from my parents for Christmas. And ever since then, I've been hooked. So um, yeah, lots more to come. I'm Ralph of Mad Reptic, and I'll see you guys next week.